What's up guys, it's your girl Nicole.young and I'm back with another boot camp update. And this will actually be my final boot camp update because, drum roll please, your girl graduated. Yes. I am officially a boot camp graduate, a software engineer, and I'm really, really excited about it, guys. I am done. Like the feeling of freedom, unmatched right now. Um, first, I wanna get started with saying thank you to everyone in this community. We are now over 10,000 subscribers on this channel, which is mind blowing. But I think what is also awesome is that throughout this process, a lot of you have reached out with encouragement, words of advice and positivity um, that really more than you know has helped me to get through the entire process of boot camp. Like just knowing that so many of you are like cheering me on. I love that. I love you guys and I'm really appreciative to have such an amazing community to have like taken this journey with. Um, so Thank you. But right now, I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on, what I'm doing now that boot camp is over, what I've been up to, and kind of what the future holds for a recent boot camp graduate. So let's get right to it. <laughs> So I have to say, boot camp, you know, looking back on it, I was really skeptical about doing a boot camp before I applied to the one that I just finished. I, I mean, like you guys have seen me on this journey and I've made videos about the things that I feel skeptical about with boot camp, but I really took my time with the application process, with the research process, even before picking a boot camp, and I must say, like I have zero regrets about boot camp. I loved the entire process, even though it was tough. It was super stressful. I cried almost every other day. I have no regrets about it at all, and I'm so glad that I. I took that leap and and took that step that next step in my journey in learning how to code in really getting fully into tech I'm just really proud of myself and being able to complete something like this looking back on it everything that I went through throughout boot camp if I didn't love it immediately or wasn't excited about it immediately there came a time later on in boot camp where I was like, oh, I get why we did it this way. I get why we have to do group projects every day. I get why they're making us pair program. I understand why they didn't give us tons of instruction or handholding through this project. It's because I had to be the one to develop the skills, uh, you know, in this area of becoming a software engineer. And I'm like, like, I did a lot of reflecting over the last two weeks since I've graduated and I see now like all those little things that I cried about and was like really stressed about while I was going through the process. Now I understand why. Um, I didn't think like really like in the middle of it, I really didn't think I was going to feel this way when I finished and I was seriously considering um, quitting or like if this was the right career choice for me. Cause I was just like, this is crazy. I don't think this is for me. If I was gonna have to do this for the rest of my life, I'm not gonna wanna do it. Um, but now I'm so excited like about what the future holds for me. Speaking of the future, now I'm sure you guys are wondering what I'm going to be doing. So I had three options that I could choose from for what I was going to do after finishing boot camp. One was taking a break, thinking about all of the rest of it later, um, and like traveling. I mean, it is the summer. We are fully vaccinated over here. I was really thinking about taking a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so off. Um, the second option I had was to do a fellowship, um, which is like where I would be um, assisting and teaching 
um, the next cohort of people to go through the program I just went through. And the third option that I had was the just fully jumping into the job hunt immediately, going, looking for a job, trying to find the right position for me. I thought about all three positions and considered each one of them at one point in time, but the choice that I decided to go to was option two, and that was my fellowship option. So I decided that I was going to do a fellowship. I applied for it and got accepted into the fellowship program for Full Stack Academy, which is the program I was in. Um, so now I will be kind of like a teaching assistant, helping people who are newly going through the process throughout each phase that they go through, um, helping, you know, provide guidance, assistance, and support throughout that process. I had fellows when I was going through the process, and I must say, like, they were such an impactful part of the program. I'm really appreciative that I had them um, because it's one thing to come to an instructor or someone that's very seasoned in software engineering and vent to them about what you're going through. It's a completely different thing when the person you're talking to has just gone through that same process. It just, it's that feeling of validation, of true understanding um, that makes you feel comfortable and confident that if this person just went through this process and is on the other side and is able to you know debug and build really cool things then I can do that too um, it's just a really reassuring feeling and I am really excited to be able to do that for somebody else so I will be sharing as I usually do every part of the, the journey and I will have a lot more time to like create content and edit videos and all of that fun stuff for you guys. So I'll definitely be sharing a lot of the fellowship process and the job hunt process because even though I'll be in a fellowship, I've decided I'm just gonna start slowly easing my way into the job hunt because there's a lot of moving parts when it comes to looking for a tech job and actually landing a tech position. And I kind of like brushed past that. I actually am going to look for an, a job, an actual like nine to five position, hopefully with like a software or tech company or some type of company that has a, a tech focus or a good tech ecosystem. I decided that, you know, even though I really love freelancing, I really enjoyed um, being able to work closely with individual clients. I have decided that I'm going to try to get an actual, you know, tech position to get more experience. And I will probably do freelancing on the side um, as kind of like a side hustle um, and just do a couple of projects at a time um, as I have time to, um, but nowhere near full time like I was doing at one point in time. So yeah. Really excited for any of you who are, are going to be thinking about taking this journey as well. Feel free to reach out, leave your, your questions or anything in the comments or DM me on Instagram. Any of the questions that you have about bootcamp, I would be happy to answer them. Happy to give you any insight I have having gone through the process. Otherwise guys, I love you, I'm rooting for you and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace.